Thank you for joining us. This is the Traders Exclusive Live Trader Showcase. I'm Sherry. Please check out tradersexclusive.com where we regularly post articles and video clips with valuable trading tips and techniques. So before we get started, I will share the quick disclaimer. You should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances, knowledge, and financial resources. You may lose all or more of your initial investment. Opinions, market data, and recommendations are subject to change at any time, and past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Many thanks to our sponsors for the June Live Trader Showcase, Market Taker Mentoring, Technitrader, and Money Mentor. Please go check them out at markettaker.com, technitrader.com, and moneymentor.com. Thank you again. Next up is Larry Gaines of Power Cycle Trading with How to Trade Extreme Market Uncertainty, Low Risk, High Return Option Strategies, Butterflies, and Long Condors. Welcome, Larry. Okay, thank you so much. And if I miss your question, the GoToWebinar sometimes scrolls down. So, you know, I'm going through the presentation, I might miss it. Uh, so my apologies, but I'll try to get to it as best as I can. <laughs> Hey, Larry, the first thing yeah. you could do if you pop the questions box out, because that's where people yeah, will ask you questions. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then if you'll go to that column that says received, REC apostrophe yeah, D. I, I click it to the up. Right click it to the up. Yep. No. And uh, I see now Timothy is asking me, can you put a link in the box for the speaker list? Yes, I will. I will set, I'll give you that right now um, for everybody that's going to be here this week um okay yes so the chat box is the question box for right. when people want to talk to you but when you want to send a message to everyone there is the chat and you just have to make sure it's chosen all entire audience and i do come in and near the end and i'll listen and i'll post your link if you want me to okay and okay. i also will help with uh, any questions all right. Like. Well, dude. well, thank you so much for having me here. And I guess it's time to get rolling. So, yeah, what I'm going to talk about here today are, you know, how to trade uncertain markets. So we're always in an uncertain market. So just the, 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 it depends on the degree of uncertainty. But what I always look for, you know, or what I call high risk or not high risk, but low risk, but high return option strategies that can work in, you know, uncertain markets. So two really great dynamic strategies are the butterflies and the long condors. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, so uh, the following presentation is purely for educational purposes. Any stocks, futures, or options mentioned does not constitute advice. Should I be construed as a recommendation? So just a little bit of background on myself. I won't take too long, but uh, I've actually been, you know, trading in the markets for over 40 years. I started uh, actually, my trading career back in the 80s on the oil side, uh, trading oil and oil cargoes and products and all that kind of good stuff. And I uh, ended up going to work uh, back in the mid 80s for one of the largest oil trading companies in the world, uh, Transworld Oil, and uh, worked there uh, for about 17 years, ran the international trading disc out of Bermuda for 10. And so that's where I really got into options was at Transworld. So we were we traded everything. We were big in the energy side, but we were also in the foreign exchange, all the futures, bond markets, you, you name it, we traded it. And that's where I got into options. We were, you know, doing options on cargoes of crude oil, and it was just uh, exciting, never looked back. So a little kind of beef, brief background on myself. So that being said, let us get started. So what we're going to talk about is uh, butterflies and um, long condors. But, you know, I've been trading options now for over 40, uh, not 40, but 30 years. And I found that the most valuable go-to option strategies that can help literally any trader or investor more than any other strategy known, especially during times of extreme market uncertainty, are the option butterfly and the long condor. They're so, so kind of what I call my uh, trading secret weapon. Now, the huge advantage of these uh, strategies is their unique option framework uh, that's designed to take advantage of both time decay or theta and your volatility, which are the two main option pricing components. So this will really stack the, the trading odds way in your favor. It can be used in any type of market environment, which makes a, them really a favorite trading strategy for uncertain times or for any market in general. So it's just a question of if you just know when and how to, to use these two strategies. 
Now, when we look at the butterfly uh, and the long condor, they're very dynamic and they can be traded for a variety of different reasons with different goals in mind. So in other words, uh, once you learn how to trade the butterflies and the long condors, you're gonna be covered for both your offense and your defense, your you know, goals and protection uh, you know, in your trading. Now, these two strategies can work no matter what the markets are doing. They could be an uptrend, downtrend, or a sideways market, kind of like where we are now. Can provide income from stocks that are going nowhere. Really helps eliminate the stress of having to be perfect on a stock's direction or overall market. Uh, eliminates the time decay. This is a really big uh, benefit. Uh, eliminates that time decay expense that's encountered from your decaying long options and uh, takes the the unsettling guesswork out of trading. So these can be structured for very low cost, low capital at risk, and can offer you returns of 10 to one or higher. So we're looking at, we're gonna look at a number of different uh, uh, trade setups that we've done, and you'll see how the returns can be just absolutely, you know, off the wall, fantastic. Um, now, when we look at the butterflies and long condors, they can be used for hedging. So you're occasionally gonna have a, a bad trade, you're gonna mess things up, and they can really be a fast, low-cost way to cover your you-know-what pronto when a position starts to move against you. So I've literally found no other hedging strategy that comes close to incorporating either hedging out using the butterfly or the long condor. Now, uh, when we do the hedging, you can construct then a butterfly or a long condor uh, structure around a strike that is under pressure from another core trade that you might have on, such as a credit spread or a debit spread. So it really becomes a, a, the best way that I've found to immediately neutralize, but also lower your risk of your core trade. And uh, I have one uh, uh, member, Pam, that sent me this. She said, Oh, Larry, I think your sound went out. Can you guys hear him? About a minute ago, your sound went out. Did you mute yourself by any chance? No, it looks like you don't have a microphone. Dead gummit. Okay. Um, Larry, I might need you to come back in in a minute. Can you hear You're self-muted at this point. Can you hear me, Larry? Unmute yourself, please. Sorry, folks, that was a go to webinar. I noticed that the sound went out and then my microphone was gone too. Uh, but Larry, I don't think you can hear me. You just have to unmute yourself. It looks like your microphone is back, but you need to unmute yourself. All right, I think he has paused. We're gonna get in touch with them uh, otherwise. Okay, just hold on people, sorry about that.
Yeah, my mic on my side shows it's on, but you know, can you hear me now? Yeah. Uh, that is weird. I don't know what happened. It was showing green and it's on. Yeah. Okay. You know what happened? I think go to webinar had a glitch uh, at 203. At 203, it okay. went out. Yeah. And it was my microphone got knocked out too. And so All everybody right. was saying, can hear, no sound. So if you just right. go back a slide, I think we can start yeah. from there. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry, yeah. guys. I, I mean, you know, if you think the technology is great, but when it works, it's great. When it doesn't work, it's not great. <laughs> right. So I'll mute oh. myself and you start there. Okay. Yeah. So what I was going to say, uh, uh, sorry that you couldn't hear, but uh, it's a really great way to hedge. Okay. So using a butterfly long condor. So once you you know establish either a butterfly hedge or long condor around a core trade position, such as maybe you do credit spreads or you have a debit spread, it starts to go against you. We can neutralize the risk and actually lower it by either incorporating a butterfly or long condor hedge around your you know original kind of core spread. So especially credit spreads. Some if you've done credit spreads, you probably know what I'm talking about. If it gets up to your short strike, you know. Uh, a lot of times when it goes through, then, you know, you can really lose a lot of money on that credit spread. But by doing a butterfly around it, we can neutralize and lower that risk. And one of my members, Pam, you know, sent me a little note, said, wish I'd known how to do this hedging before I lost so much money on credit spread. So uh, it's a really great thing. Now, here's kind of a simple, uh, the construction is simple, but we have a variety or a number of variations of butterflies. But typically we can do, you know, butterflies with calls or puts. So if I'm Looking for an upside move, I'll probably usually use a butterfly using a call butterfly or downside move, a put butterfly. So in this example, you can see if we're long a call here, say at 1010, short the call here at 1020, we've got a $10 wide spread. So that'd be $1,000 wide, right? Now the cost on this trade, it's a debit spread, $300. So that's your total risk right here. Now your, your spread is 1,000. So your risk, uh, you're risking 300. So potentially, you know, you can make seven hundred dollars you know nice return if it closes above that but if we wanted to reduce our risk and hedge it we could quickly do that neutralize it by doing it uh, uh adding a butterfly so what we could do is add a credit spread so in this kind of example i could sell a call here at that 1020 strike buy another call making it what we call balance ten dollars out at the 1030 and i bring in in this example two hundred dollars so now, you know, my risk of 300 has been reduced down by that uh, 200 credit. So now I've got a butterfly on. And if I go out, which we call this the top of the tent right here, if I was to go out uh, right at that and pin at expiration at 1020, this spread now would be up a uh, $900 profit or on that risk of 100, that'd be a 900% return. So I went from, you know, potential to make 700 or in the other example, where I had a, if I had a credit spread on, I got a credit of 200, I could lose 800, right? So I could potentially lose this by doing this example here, this uh, uh, adding the call and the call credit spread together, I've reduced my risk to 100. We go out here, potential 900% return. So that's the, the beauty of it. These things are easy to set up and, and execute so you can quickly do these types of uh, trades, hedging, or just for, uh, you know, an overall position. Now, the long condor is what I call a kind of the cousin of the butterfly. But instead of, you know, sharing the same short strike uh, as a butterfly, we're going to extend out and widen out that profit zone. So, you know, I could be long a call here, short that call. But instead of making it a butterfly, I can widen that out sell further out of the money credit spread there. And now I've got a bigger profit zone, you know, to take advantage of the market swings. And if I go out in here, I've got a really nice profit. I'm also reducing my theta by having that additional credit spread on. So these are gonna be positive theta trades. So if you, you know, been in a situation where you're long options, you get that theta decay, you know, starting to really deteriorate your long price. These are great spreads because they're gonna give you a positive theta. You don't have to worry about theta decay. Now, what really makes the butterfly long condor work is, you know, um, time, okay, time or theta. So that becomes kind of the most important option factor for profit generation when you're using the butterfly or long condor. Uh, so it comes down to understanding then how your option pricing works and that concept of time decay or theta and how we're going to take advantage of that with these two strategies.
And so the, then the big effect that theta has on the price of your option. So let's take a kind of a overview of that. Now, when we look at the theta, the core concept, theta then tells us how much your option price is going to go down over time. So it's the rate of your time decay of your stock option. And by expiration, theta goes to zero. So we have two major pricing components. We have theta and then we have volatility. And those two will go to zero at expiration. So that's what we're taking advantage of when we're doing a butterfly. We have that sell side component to it. So here's just kind of a quick little example so let's say we had uh, xyz's trading at 45 and we're looking for just a move small move down to 43. so you know what i do with the butterfly i like to target you know if, if we're looking for a move or target to 43 i'm going to make that the butter the body of the butterfly so in this example just looking for a small move down two dollars so i went out i could buy say the june 44 put cost 238 that's your debit cost or 238 dollars sell the 43 put against it, then sell another 43 by the 42 to make this a balanced butterfly a dollar wide, very narrow range butterfly. So you can see my cost then is that 238 plus a dollar six debit, less the credit that I received twice a dollar 67. So in this example, my butterfly cost and my risk is only $10, okay? $10 per butterfly spread. So if you went, did one spread, your total risk would be 10. Now your profit's gonna be, you just take the middle strike, less your lower strike, and you can then see this dollar, dollar between each strike. So it's a dollar wide spread, all right? So you've got a dollar wide spread, 43 less 42, and then you've got your cost here of 10 cents or $10, so your potential profit's 90 cents times 100 to make an option contract, $90, okay? So your risk reward is, you're risking uh, $1 to make nine. So it's a great return, nine to one risk re uh, reward to risk, or that'd be like a 900% return. So that's the beauty of it. You, we can make really great, uh, you know, uh, low risk uh, trade setups with high potential returns. Now, all the different option spread strategies that are out there, the butterfly actually has the highest potential return of any kind of options option spread. Uh, so I'll show you some that are just have been really great returns and I'll show you how they work. Now, the next thing then comes choosing the best option strategy. So in my opinion, one major, major goal for every trader is that you look to um, select trades based on what's going to provide you the most consistent positive return with low defined risk and not always looking for that, you know, home run great return. So the whole key to, you know, success in your trading is really just what I call kind of chipping away singles and doubles, singles and doubles, and then keeping that risk, you know, pretty much under control. And then occasionally you're going to, those singles and doubles will turn into a triple or sometimes a home run and you really can stack and build your equity curve that way. Now, one of the best ways then to achieve this kind of, you know, consistency is to understand the different option strategies that are out there and available to you. And I'm glad everybody's here today. So you're going to learn too then understand how they work and then select the one that's gonna be best suited for the market environment you're trading and your specific trading goals. So, you know, everybody here will have, you know, different goals in mind. So, I mean, you know, you might have uh, Charlie, uh, you know, has a $100,000 trading account and Barbara maybe has a five or $10,000 account. So uh, one thing that you can do when you do these two option spreads, you can do it with a, a small account or a large account. It doesn't make any difference. So we've done butterflies with thousands of contracts or butterflies with just one. So, you know, it's, it's achievable for any small trader or, or big traders alike. Now, when we look at it, I call this the butterfly family. So there's a, a lot of different variations that you can use to, depending on the market uh, environment you're trading. So we have, we can do a long call or put butterfly. We can do what we call a broken wing call or put butterfly. We can call what I call the ninja unbalanced ratio butterfly. There's the iron butterfly. Then there's the, what I call the lotto butterfly, which is really cool. I'll show you here in a few minutes. And then there's just a whole other category that uh, hedging uh, defense is using the butterfly. And then kind of the big cousin is the long condor, not to be confused with the iron condor. Okay, so these are two different animals, the long condor versus the iron condor. So a really great structure. So those are the kind of the variations that we can use uh, depending on the market and what we wanna to try to achieve. So what I thought we'd do next, we could go through and show you a bunch of different examples to kind of see how these can 
uh, work for you. Now, the first one we're going to look at is, you know, kind of going to be a, uh, a, a, sh a, a narrowing butterfly. But before I get there, one thing to, to understand is that we can adjust our risk of the butterfly and the profit based on the wingspan. All right. So just kind of think if you're collecting butterflies, you're going to have a lot easier time using a really wide butterfly net to capture the butterfly, right, versus a small net. But kind of the same thing with the, the butterfly. So we can do really we can really widen out the butterfly to really capture a big area of profit zone or if we really want to narrow in our risk we can do a very narrow butterfly and if we do get to pin at the kind of the profit tent these are huge potential reward to risk uh, you know type of ratio that you receive so that's uh, kind of one thing to point out now the first one i'll show you is a narrowing butterfly and these are great to use on on etfs we do a lot of ETFs, uh, butterflies and condors on SPY, QQQ, the Russell 2000, uh, SPX, the, you know, the index options. So these provide a lot of different, uh, you know, uh, expiration series that we can use. So really a lot of creative stuff we can do. Now here's a narrowing butterfly on SPY. So with this one, I'm always looking for a target. Okay, my targets usually are gonna be based on Fibonacci moving averages and what we call unusual option activity. So in this example, uh, we were looking in this trade setup, and these are trades that we've done and, and alert trades. I have alert service that sends out trades, but just to point that out. But in this example, we were looking for a move to the 618 retracement from that swing high to low. This 618 was coming in right around 2, 2, uh, 70, uh, 274, and there was a lot of option activity there. So, you know, the trade was set up here where it was trading at 267. And then we're looking for this move up here, the 273, 274 area, based on you know what I call um, price target mapping. That's kind of what I refer that to. So to do this trade, we did it really narrow. Okay, so went out and targeted that short strike, the the 273. So we bought the 272 call, sold the 273, then told sold the 273, bought the 274. So with that was a dollar wide butterfly, right? Hundred dollar spread width between each strike. Lesser cost of the trade was 10 cents, debit cost or $10. So uh, if we went out perfect there, that'd be $90 per spread profit or 900% return. So risking a dollar to make nine. So great return, right? Now this one didn't get it perfect, but we made $70 per spread, which is a 700% return. So that was, um, you know, you can see how these returns can be very, very large using this kind of a uh, uh, structure. So here's kind of where it went out. You can see, uh, looking at the expiration, that little black area is what's still left of time and, and, and volatility in there. So still some potential profit. But here was the exit right there. It was trading right around 273.08. Uh, and so this went from 10 cents debit to 80 cents. Okay, so there's your $70 per spread profit or 700% return. So in this example, we have four contracts. So, you know, it was up $280, but we had a risk of everything fell apart. It went to the upside to, to big or downside or upside. Uh, the max, you know, in this one would be the debit cost is our risk of, of the spread. All right, so that's a, a narrowing butterfly. Now, typically, we typically like to do, I like to do the wider wing butterflies because it's going to provide us that wider profit zone. Again, these are going to be structured for, you know, very defined risk and great for hedging. Uh, use what I call targeted swing trades. So the kind of the trades that we look at are swing trades that are lasting maybe one to two weeks, that kind of swing, you know, cycle swings of the market based on a daily time frame. Really great for what we call pinning trades, great for high volatility markets, because when we're in a really high volatility market, number one, we want to reduce our risk, right? So we can get that risk really reduced using a butterfly or condor. Plus, when we have a high implied volatility, that increases the option premium price. And since we've got a sell side component to the butterfly condor, we're bringing in more premium. So that's a benefit. And then great for trading high price stocks. So when you get up to like say Nvidia now over a thousand dollars, you know, back when Amazon was trading almost $2,000, you could trade, you know, those types of stocks using butterflies. Trade duration, typically one day to two weeks, positive data, no time decay and returns of you know, two to one up to 25 to one. So uh, a lot of great uh, structures and benefits. Now here's an example of a short trade using a put butterfly on QQQ. So when we're shorting 
Uh, I love to use uh, the butterfly or the condor for shorts uh, on the, the ETF QQQ, IWM, or, or SPY. So this was a $1,000 wide spread. All right, so in this trade uh, setup, we were looking for downside move. All right, so it's trading right here at 314.60, right where that arrow is. Uh, my trading model I use has momentum to kind of give us forecasted pr potential price direction. So we had a cycle reversal here, negative momentum. So the potential was for this market to break lower. So it's trading at 314.60, and we were targeting down here to this 304 level right in here, right above that 50 simple moving average. So we were targeting right in there. So we did a butterfly, and the, and the, the target of the butterfly was going to be the body. All right. So here's the setup. Uh, let me get my pointer here. So we bought the 314 put. Again, we're going to target 304. And when we started the trade, we, it was trading around uh, 314. And so we we're targeting 304. So we did the 314 put long, sold the 304 short. So you can see that's a $10 wide spread, and then sold the 304 put, bought the 294. So we had that put. Deva spread, and then we made a put butterfly by having that credit spread side of it. All right, so we had this spread now at $10 wide butterfly. So, you know, you can see 314, 304, so balanced butterfly. Now the cost of the trade was $2.10, $210 per spread. So if we got a kind of pin there at expiration, this could make $790 on a risk of 210, that's a 376% return. So risking 376 or risking a dollar to make three dollars 76 cents plus we have positive data uh, so that's uh, kind of what the structure looked like going in and then here's kind of where it went out so this was then on the, the day of expiration on the 26th this butterfly was trading right here at 306 not perfect we were looking for 304 but still we had to see this big profit zone in here and so it was trading right here so this spread went from 210 $210 to $7.82. So that's a, a return of per spread. If you did one spread, $572 for a 272% return versus if you just did the shares and you sold short, you would have made 3.6% gain on your share. So uh, great time advantage, time decay. You know, we have positive set theta. You can see here positive theta. Volatility collapse, great way to take advantage of that because time and volatility go to zero at expiration. So we're short, you know, we've got a credit spread. So we're long a put spread here and short a bull put credit spread. So we get that advantage, very low defined risk, high returns. So that's a kind of an example of the way you can use it for shorting a wide wing. Now here's a really great example for trading a high price stock where you want to, you know, be able to trade a high price stock. So, you, you know, you're not going to be able to afford a lot of times stocks that are over thousand dollars. So if you bought, like say today, if you were buying uh, NVIDIA, it's almost $2,000. So if you bought a share, uh, you know, a hundred shares to make it equivalent to option contract, you're looking at 200,000 bucks. But that was the same case in this example, Amazon, you know, back when it was trading up to $1,700, $1,800. So we could control and we could do trades on Amazon back then uh, by doing it with a butterfly. So here's an example when we did a thousand dollar wide. All right, so in this, this trade setup, you can see Amazon was trading down here. This was a, like a 200 day moving average. So it had been coming down and bouncing off of it. So we were looking for a target up here to this 1830. So, uh, you know, our indicators set up uh, kind of, okay, it's, uh, it's okay to go long, but we wanted to keep our risk super low. So we're gonna target 1830. So when we tr set up the trade, it was trading at 1782. We were targeting 1830. So here's the beauty of you know doing this trade as a butterfly versus if you were just buying shares. So if you you know were out here and you bought um, 100 shares to make it equivalent to one option contract, uh, and it was trading at 1782, you'd be putting out 178,200 dollars, right? But in this example, we did the same tra trade, you know, where we were able to control 100 shares if you did one option contract but we did it with a butterfly and we were targeting that 1830, which I showed you. So we went out and bought the 1820 call, sold the 1830, sold the 1830, bought the 1840. So we had a $10 wide spread or a $1,000 wide. 
lesser cost. Look at the cost of this trade, 80 cents or $80. All right, so potential return if it went out here at expiration would be $920 or 1,150% return, you know, risking a dollar to make 1150. Uh, versus if you just did the shares and you paid 178,200, huge amount of risk, right? And you made that 48 bucks, you made a 2.69% return versus here having the potential to make up to, you know, a uh, thousand percent. So these are real kind of returns that you can really, really can, can make. And so here's the other great uh, uh, benefit of this trade is the additional, you know, how it works when you get into expiration. So here, here was Amazon trading in the morning. So it was trading in the AM on the expiration date. It was now trading at 1836.55. So at that point, the spread, you can see all that black area is still what's remaining of profit on this day of expiration. That's all time and implied volatility that's still in the spread. So, but at this point in time, when it was trading 1836.55, the spread had gone now from 80 cents to 230. So it was still up $150 per spread, still a pretty decent return on your risk of 187% return. But the really cool thing about this, this was in the morning. So look, look uh, about four hours later, this thing was up four times more on profit. So here it was in the afternoon going out and you can see that top of that tent, there's barely any black area. That means everything's getting stripped out of that time and implied volatility that you have in the spread. So at this point, it was trading at uh, 1832, you know, a few dollars less, but still the spread you can see went from 80 cents or $80. Now it was at 695 or $695. So you had a profit of $614 per spread or a 769% return and even if you'd done the shares looking for the, to go along, you would have made 2.69% gain. So you can see here it was in the morning, just back up one more second. In the morning, it was trading at 1836. You were up $150 or 187. But in the afternoon, it was up four times more because of all of that. See that time and volatility being stripped out. At the end of the day, at expiration, time and volatility go to zero. So that's where you're getting that additional profit. So really great uh, strategy. Now, here is another example. This was on Tesla, and these are uh, this is a penny trade. So that's where we're looking for the trade to hit our target going into expiration. So we did this with a butterfly, five dollar wide or five hundred dollar wide spread, and so Tesla was trading at one sixty six fifty, and we were looking for a target up to one eighty. So we were looking at a target at one eighty. There was a lot of option activity there. We had a lot of uh, moving average, see that moving average resistance coming in here. And so a lot of things we're looking at gave us a target at 180. So we were going into this trade right there at 166 and a half. We had a cycle reversal back here, positive momentum. And we were looking for this break to the upside to 180 from right here at 166.50, right in there, okay? So we wanted to keep this super low risk, but look for that potential move to that target of 180. So went out here and bought, targeting at 180, that's gonna be our body. So we bought the 175, sold the 180, sold the 180, bought the 185. So $5 wide butterfly, $500 less our cost of the trade, $40, 40 cents debit cost. So the potential, if we get out our target at expiration is for a $460 profit per spread. So if you did one, you make 460. If you did 10, you make 4,600. That'd be a 1,150% return. So you're risking a dollar to make 11 and a half. So uh, these things are uh, uh, really, you can see, so when you're in uncertain markets or you really want to keep that risk low or whatever, these are a great way to go. So here it was going out, you know, pretty close to being a pin right there. So on the 19th day of expiration, it was trading right there, pretty close to our target 180. So the spread went from $40 to 491, so we were up $451 per spread, or 1,128% return uh, over a five-day period. And if we were wrong, we would have lost 40 bucks, right? Now this next one is is probably the best one I've ever seen, and we we had this one we did just this past February. So this is what you you call your that's what I call the lotto ticket. So this is uh, we'll send out these occasionally these types of lotto trades. 
uh, in our alert service. And this is one that we had, you know, back in February. So this, this is from one of my members who, who really kind of, kind of summed it up. He said, um, the butterfly strategy is one of my favorite. It's the big winners that eventually make the difference in any trading account. So with the, all the so-called low risk option strategies being sold to the public, an account without the potential to hit that big one once in a while without betting the farm is a slow ride up the long hill. But this strategy is easy as ABC. So here's one that we sent out that I sent out through the alert service. And you can see here, this was up on the 8th of February. It was trading at 189.35. And so we were targeting, going to be targeting 200. So here was the straight trade set out. You see what it looks like. It says buy one butterfly Tesla, the 197.5, 200, 202.5 at around 12. So that's $12 per spread. If you did one, one spread, that would be 12 bucks would be your risk. And then I'll go through and show you. So it was trading at 189.35. Now on the 16th expiration, the date of expiration, you know, in the morning now it was trading, actually trading right up towards our target here is trading at 200, perfect. So this butterfly at that point in time was up $215 per spread. We had our cost of 12. So it was up over almost 1800% return now. At the end of the day, this thing nailed perfectly. It was trading at $200. And so this was up $230 per spread or 1,916% uh, return on your risk of $12. So you can see that these are, you know, possible trade returns, okay? So here it was trading at 189.35. We were targeting 200. And here's the trade setup. You can see this is the trade setup that was sent out that was done. So this was going along the 197.5 call, short the 200, then short the 200, long the 202.5. So it's a two and a half dollar wide spread, 250 bucks, less the cost of the trade, 12 cents, debit costs are 12 bucks. So if we went out and hit that target expiration, the potential is to make $238 on the risk of 12, that'd be a 1,983% return. And even if we didn't get that exact pin, just think about it, you've got still a huge potential return in the trade. So that's what makes these really uh, exciting and cool setup for this type, type of uh, potential. All right, so here it was going out. This was right there at expiration. So it actually pinned perfectly. I've never seen one that pinned it to the penny. So this was pretty uh, amazing. So it pinned it to the perfect at expiration. So here it was, you know, on the 16th, trading at 200. So it went from 12 bucks to 250, $238 per spread on your risk of 12. That's a 1,983% return. But you had profit all along in here, you know. So what we'll typically do is you have multiple contracts. We'll scale out and then leave a little bit right for that uh, last day to see if we can get the pin all right you don't you know you don't save the whole uh, trade for that because you know it can bounce around we have what we call gamma risk but that's where it was right at the tail end you know and we've been taking profit but that that was pretty cool it's pretty perfect and you know, about as perfect as you can get now here's kind of what we call the long condor okay so this is actually what what, what is called the broken wing long condor and not to be confused with an iron condor, just a quick difference. An iron condor is two credit spread. You're short a call, long call, short a put, short a long a put. So credit spreads, you get the two credit spreads. That's not your main, your, your profits, your credit receipt. The condor is your long a debit spread and short a credit spread against it. Okay, so here's one that we did on Microsoft. Again, these are all alert trades that were sent out to members of the alert service. So. We had a, a, a breakout, this was a, a, a breakout trade, and this was set up on the 14th of March, and it was trading at 423.70. We had a cycle reversal, momentum up, just kind of show you the outline trade. So it's breaking out here, and we were looking for, our target would be, was gonna go between these two short strikes, the 435 and 425. Okay, so we were looking for this top, top in this kind of range in there. So at the end of the day, when we were, you know, taking it off at expiration, I was trading at 428.45 from there to there. Um, so what we did was this is a broken wing because the, let me erase this. 
the strikes are a little, the spread width strikes are a little bit different. So this is on the 14th and it was trading at 423.70. So we bought the 422 and a half call, sold the 425 call debit spread. And it was a 250, two and a half dollar wide debit spread, right? 422 and a half plus 425, two and a half dollar wide. But then we sold further out of the money a wider credit spread to bring in more premium to make this cheaper. So we sold the 435, 440 fair call credit spread without a $5 spread width. So that's going to make it cheaper. We're going to get more credit in on this by widening that spread. So that's why it's broken weight. So we had our max risk for the downside. We wanted, we were more concerned with the market rolling over than with this, you know, going up because it all, already was up at a pretty high end of the range. So more concerned with the market falling off. So to control it, we did it broken wing. So you can see our total risk to the downside on this trade was $47, $47 debit cost. Okay. So if we went out inside our profit zone, like here, which you'll see in a minute inside the zone, we would make $203 on that risk of 47, so 431% return. So our downside risk was, you know, what we were concerned about, so we were able to lower that. So here's where it went out. This was a, you know, per, you know, perfect as far as going out where we want it to, went out right there between the zone that we were looking at right there at 428. So this was up from 447 to 250 bucks, $203 profit per spread, 431% return. So that's uh, the broken wing on that. And here's one more example. This is just a regular um, long condor. This is one that we did a alert trade on Abbott. So the uh, Abbott Labs. So we're looking for this, what we call, uh, we, I use this kind of structure for when we have what we call volatility squeeze, or we have a really hard consolidation. We're looking for a potential breakout up or down, I, we uh, I do this spread because we can keep the spread risk super low, but we can take advantage of the big breakout and then we'll have a credit spread out of the money against it, kind of the capping it up here, bringing in credit. So this was one that we did on Abbott. So you can see it was, we went long right here and then we were targeting up in this range here. So let me pull that up. So we did on this spread, we did the, uh, balance 116, 118, that would be your debit spread side like that. And then we sold against the 119, 121, and we can leg these. So we could start out with the debit spread first and add the credit spread, or we do it all at once. This one we did all at once. And when we did this spread up setup, it cost $67 or $67 per spread, spread with the 200. So 116, 118, $2 wide. So potential profit, if it goes out here, is going to be $133 on that risk of 67, 198% return. And here's where it went out right there. Um, you know, on the uh, 22nd, when we took it off, it was trading right here. We took it off a little early, not wanting to risk it going back outside of the zone. So this went from our spread cost of 67 to $1.78. So we had uh, $111. Uh, profit per spread or 166% return. So that's kind of a, a, a the variations that you can do. So a lot of really cool stuff there. Uh, and if you'd like to learn more about these high reward, low risk option strategies that work in any market environment. So here's a really good special offer I have for you. Uh, if you'd like to take advantage of it, it's got some great bonuses. Here's the link right here. So all you have to do is just um, click on the link. And this will we'll pull up this payment link for you. So just click on that and you'll see this link pop up. And with this, you'll get the course. This is the course I did on the, this Butterfly Masters course. Uh, and so this was back, we did this back end of March. And so it's a five plus hour butterfly course on this. And then you're gonna get all, all the bonuses I'll show you. Plus, if you do want my trading indicators, you can up, upgrade it for another 195 and get my indicators that I just showed you that I'm, I'm using. So here's everything you'll get with the, the course, the bonuses and everything using that link. You'll get the course, which is, uh, if you look at my website, just the course, you go to powercycletrading.com, the course is $397. And if you use this link though, you're gonna get the course basically at 197 
plus you're going to get all the um, bonuses. If I can, I'll show you here real quick that I'll show you. Let me show you PowerCycle Trading. So you can just check out my website. If you were to go there and just buy the course, you can see the price of this course is $397. You go here, courses, trading courses, and right here, see here, you'll see, why is it that? You'll see here's the butterfly. All my courses, I do pretty much everything's options. So a lot of great stuff, all different kinds of option courses, but here's the one that we just completed. This is the butterfly, uh, how to make butter, uh, how to trade butterfly along condor. This was done back in March. You can see if you go here and just buy the course, it's gonna be, you know, 397. So uh, if you sign up today, you're gonna get the course for 197, but then you're gonna get these additional bonuses, which make a course package value of over thousand dollars so you're going to get my start trading options today so intermediate option course if you're just starting out great course you're going to get a 30-day trial membership to my trading club okay then if you stay on it's 97 a month or we have other different uh, prices we'll do a live follow-up q a that will be live and recorded we'll send you a link to that in about a week or so and then you're going to get my option trading tutorial another option course on the greeks and gamma and then a complete strategy manifesto, 15 other option strategies. So really great, great option package, 738. So you'll get everything here, 197. So basically 82% off of that price. And uh, so you use that link. Here it is one more time. Right there. And then you're going to get my Butterfly Long Connor Master's course, six hour recorded course, broken down in easy view modules of 30 minutes or less. You'll get the training manual, 456 page manual of the entire courses, PowerPoint of it. So step-by-step -step blueprint course on how to use the butterfly along Condor. So you'll learn the option breaks that are vital to using the butterfly along Condor, you know, how theta decay uh, impacts the butterfly Condor, volatility, the importance of volatility crush, how that affects these two strategies, uh, option pricing, time and volatility, how they affect butterfly condor so i take you through the greek so you understand the fundamental foundation of this strategy and then it's going to be easier for you to understand and perform and trade it you know you're going to be more confident once you understand how it works and then a big part too is understanding price targets so use what i call price target mapping and this is a combination using fibonacci the standard deviation option activity so this is in the course as well so, you know, pretty much provide everything in this course to, to help you make, be successful with these types of trades. And then part two, we go through every different butterfly variation with examples. So how, why, and when to use the long collar put butterfly, wide wing butterfly, broken wing butterfly, ratio butterfly, broken wing ratio butterfly, iron butterfly, lotto butterfly, vacation, long conner. So, you know, bubba gump shrimp, you like shrimp etouffee or barbecue, whatever. I covered it all in this course. So it is a master's course uh, regarding that. And then go through what are the best option time frames? You know, should you go out one day, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks a month? What are the best ETFs to use, index options? How do you get those trade setups where you get 10 to one or higher? So you'll learn in this course, you know, how to profit from that volatility crush or theta decay with these two strategies. And then how to trade monthly expiration butterfly, the pending trades. These are so much fun and have such great potential. And so these happen, you know, every month, 12 times a year. So might as well try to take advantage of it. So it's what we call pinning and doing these trades using what I call price target mapping, using Fibonacci and option activity that like that Tesla trade. Uh, and then we go into the cousin of it, the long condor, the major advantages of the option condor. How do you get those returns of 100, 200, 300 percent? You know, the positive risk and the positive data that you get, how, why, and when to use it. Uh, so go through and show you how this is constructed, how to use it, when to use it, uh, and some of the better trading, uh, uh, you know, vehicles for that. And then part three is just strictly all on hedging, what I call progression of hedging, and then how you can use the butterfly or condor to hedge your core position, and a really great strategy using the butterfly and condor to defend your vertical spreads, a vertical debit or vertical credit spread. 
and then a step-by-step -step checklist of when to put them on, take them off, execution risk management, and, and resources are given to you, you know, what are exchange traded funds, assignment risk expiration. So it covers everything you'll need to have to be successful at these two uh, types of trading strategies. So here's kind of feedback from Alicia. She said, I've never seen anyone explain options like this. Excellent, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Very informative, no one has anything like it. Uh, wish I'd found you sooner, but glad I found you now. Thanks again for your time, Alicia. So bonus specials, you'll get my start trading options today. So this is a uh, option intermediate beginners course. So the benefits of options versus stocks, insider trader tips you need to know, option basics, you know, mastering puts and calls. And then I have three different option strategies that are covered in here, covered calls, covered calls with protective put and a debit spreads. Okay, so you'll get that. You'll get one month trial membership to my trading club. You can start this whenever you want. And so you get access to my trading room every day during the week from 9.30 to 10.30. Come in and ask questions or see what we're doing. I do a daily video newsletter update every day after the market to tell you what I'm looking at market-wise, what trades we're looking at. Uh, we have a member trading video archive. Then we do a weekly Q&A live and uh, record it every week. Traders Educational Vault, some good educational stuff, free for all members. And everything on my website, you'll get a discount of 60% off. So David, yeah, this is the best service ever. Been enjoying your daily sessions, making money to increase my retirement accounts. Seriously considering Larry for a truly rewarding educational that really has been a benefit. So you'll get that and then you'll get, uh, we'll do a live follow-up Q&A, which will be live and recorded. And again, you get that 30 day trial membership. Hopefully you'll stay on. Uh, and then how the pros use the options. So this is another kind of bonus option course uh, on the Greeks, Delta Gamma Theta Vega, implied volatility, option pricing, what's called the market maker secret, standard deviation, option delta, trade probability. So you're gonna get just everything option, option, option with this package. Uh, and then you're gonna get also my 15 option strategy guys. So this is 15 other key option strategies that you might be interested in. And I'll go through the trade construction and uh, you know how, how they're used and when to use it, such as a back ratio spread or a calendar spread or diagonal spread the long iron butterfly, the short straddle, short stra straddle there, long straddle. So just additional everything option for you. So it'll take care of a lot of your needs. So hopefully you'll, you'll get that. And then one last thing, you'll get my option Greeks handout. So this is what you can print out, put on your desktop and you're ready to start trading options after you go through the course. Plus hopefully you'll stay on and you can come in my trade room every day and see what we're doing. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, if there are any uh, last questions for you, I have a little time left. Not seeing anything really currently. Um, I'll show yeah. you one thing. Yeah, sorry. I was just going to say, guys, it's time to ask your questions if you have them, because Larry's on a tight schedule and he's got about 10 minutes left. So ask away. But Larry, go ahead and um, and keep moving on. I think you had something yeah. else you wanted to share. Yeah, I was going to show you one that I'm looking at right now that may do send out to my members, trade room members, is let me get it. So meta is starting to break out. So this is kind of the typical setup that I like. So you can see here is meta. All right. So if we're looking at it currently, let me see. We're It's in a little short volatility squeeze here on the daily time frame. So uh, may do this today or tomorrow, but you can see this consolidation. It's consolidating here. This is what we call a volatility squeeze. My momentum indicators, I've got with cycle one, lower study one is a really fast momentum measurement. Two is a confirming slower measurement. So this is the, the setup that I look for. So we got, first we had a cycle reversal right here. See these arrows? We had a moving average cross. And we had positive momentum, cycle one and two. Now we're starting to break that's the 50 simple moving average. That's the prior week's high. And this is your 618 retracement. So when you break the 618 retracement, typically, a lot of times you'll then go to the prior high. So it could break and back and fill, but this one is setting up. So it may do what we call the long condor on this. Uh, I probably would have already done it, but you know, I had this commitment here today. So what we're what I'm looking at is this kind of 
possible trade set up here. Um, I was looking at the one second when you pull it up. So looking at this is what we call the long call condor. So the one I was looking at earlier was this structure here. You can see it's trade at 488.90. Uh, earlier I was looking at you know going out to next week the 14 June series and buying the 485, selling the 487 and a half. Now I probably have to change this. Uh, so probably what I'll look at here is something I'll show you real quick what I might look at may do this today or may wait till tomorrow now, but I'm probably gonna go out to this 14 June series here. You see right there, nine days, we've got to expect to move about $18, $19 up. So that could put us, you know, based on just the expected move and we're trading at 489, 489, and it was to move up $19. The upside potential just theoretically is it could go up to 508. So I'm gonna maybe look at this 14 June, I'd come out here and probably do buy the uh, 487 and a half, maybe. We'll see where it is towards the end of the day. Buy the 487 call, maybe do it two and a half dollars wide, sell the 490 right there. And then I'll probably come over, look at it like a 22 Delta short strike on the credit spread side, sell that 507, buy the 510, two dollars wide. To get into this for 86 bucks okay 86 bucks potential risk reward then is your max risk would be 80 83 89 when it was done that would be your max and your potential profits 161 right so uh, a good positive risk reward so this might be the one to do and then you can see here would be the spread what it would look like on the analytics and you can see here You've got a positive theta, so this gives you positive theta, which I'm obsessed with. Here's my theta, so it's a positive three dollars theta. Our potential profit would be if it goes out between these two spreads, but this would be expirations, your max profit. But uh, potentially next week, if it went out there, you can make 167 dollars on that risk of 83. So you know a nice little return of 200 percent return. So those are things we're looking at. That's one that I've kind of uh, looked at today. We talked about this quite a bit in the trade room. So we may do this one. And um, that's pretty much it. So I hope this was uh, eye-opening to help you out. And I look forward to you know, working with a lot of you guys and gals in the future. So use that link again there. And uh, look forward to seeing you hopefully in the trade room or uh, at some of my courses. Many thanks to our sponsors for the June Live Trader Showcase, Market Taker Mentoring, Technitrader, and Money Mentor. Please go check them out at markettaker.com, technitrader.com, and moneymentor.com. Thank you again.